is it good enough that we want to end our lives? Because the pain has become too hard to take. Hi, I'm Trevor from Niverville, Manitoba. My mental health struggle stems directly from that of my mom. Uh, she's gone through cancer twice, but my biggest motivator to keep me going through all that has been my wife and kids. Uh, they mean the world to me. Hi, Matt. It's me, Jennifer. I'm from a small town in West Virginia. It's called Salem. I've always been called fat all my life. Um, it takes a lot for me to trust somebody. I've been betrayed and backstabbed so many times. I just, you know, it's just... It's just one of them things I, I will always struggle with. I am struggling with the mental illness, which is anxiety and depression. I have suffered from anxiety, depression, and PTSD. I struggle to feel like I'm as good and as strong as everyone else. Advice to others is to keep, to keep yourself busy, always creating, always reading. Sing, scream, draw, run. Play music. Whatever you need to do, you've got to get it out. It's the only way to move forward. And it's the only way to heal. My advice to anybody that is struggling with any kind of mental illness is to seek help, reach out to people, to like find out things that can be your like resource to make you feel better, whether it's a hobby, friends, going to a psychologist, or anything, but not let your mind get to you. Any mental 
illness is just as important as any physical illness and just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. I think that if you conquer your fears, you can do whatever you want. The best piece of advice I could give to people is don't be afraid to ask for help. For those of you struggling, for those of you that are trying to help someone who is struggling, just know that you are not alone.